we said, grilling's going on. It's Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer, and a lot of folks are going to be hitting the grills like I will. Find some time to do it. And uh, the man that's going to help us stay safe, make sure you don't uh, light anything on fire that's not meant to be lit on fire, is Captain Brian Harrell with the uh, Birmingham Fire and Rescue Department. We appreciate you coming by. So, number one, how do we stay safe? We've got a gas grill, we've got a charcoal grill, we've got food on the grill right now. It smells delicious, but how do we keep this from turning into something dangerous? Well, the number one thing is making sure your grill is clean. A lot of people start grilling and the grill is still has grease on it from the year previous. So you want to make sure your grill is clean before you start. Yeah, and actually right here, this would not be something you would want to use. We've got we've got grease build up. We've got some some uh, problems with this grill. This would be a, a big one. And you say gas grills are the main culprit. Ma gas grills are the worst culprit, the main culprit, because mainly it's the gas. If it leaks or you have a tank that's old or corroded, it can be a problem. Yeah, and, and we actually have statutes on the books in Birmingham that uh, say where you can and where you can't grill. Mm -hmm. And one of the statues is close to anything that can burn. That means close to your house, close to overhang like trees or awnings. They can be very dangerous and against the law. And exactly. And that's why we're actually not on deck, but we're out in the parking lot to, to protect us from some of those overhanging trees and some of the wood that's out on deck. Captain Brian Harrell, we appreciate you coming by. Just be safe out there. A lot of it's really common sense, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Be safe this Memorial Day weekend. There you go. You don't want to end up uh, in a dangerous situation. Jim, back to you in the studio.